great. Thank okay. you, Morgan. All right. I will have at it. You have at it. Oh. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and, and call our uh, nomination, Sun Valley Nominations and Elections Committee meeting to order. Uh, this is the meeting for Monday, uh, December 4th. Uh, we're meeting, of course, via Zoom. Um, and with being called to order in our uh, roll call, we have uh, Gail with us, we have Michael, Michael with us, I see that Ray uh, Medor is uh, in the background, uh, is with us. Um, hopefully, Karen's going to join us here um, soon. Um, I would like to just put a, uh, a, I would like to just amend the agenda with an item that I think will go very quickly at um, new business after uh, approval of new committee members. And I just it, all it would be is a um, Unilec Unilec contract. So I'd like Good. to just talk a little bit about about Unilec and and moving forward to twenty twenty four with a contract for with them. Um, are you we're being we're a small committee? Are you guys okay with uh, adding that item to the agenda? I'll move to approve the amended agenda. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Um, all right, under I will approve that under acclamation. Um, approval of the November thirteenth, twenty twenty three minutes. Um, everybody get a chance to take a look at those. Yes, we did, or I did. Okay. Any any edits? No edits for me. So I think we'll approve those by acclamation then. Okay. Um. Ongoing business, uh, setting our committee meeting uh, uh, meeting minute minute uh, stuck on minutes. Setting our uh, our calendar and meeting dates for 2023-2024. Boy, we don't have much left to 2023, do we, guys? Um, uh, or is everyone still good with meeting uh, the last Monday of of the month? At six thirty, are we still good with that? I'm generally good with that, but given that uh, we're meeting now, December fourth, and following that schedule, we wouldn't meet again until well, where's my January calendar? But we wouldn't meet again for six or seven weeks. I'm wondering if we should meet earlier in January to just follow up on the Unilect contract uh, to make sure that you know that the board has had a chance to discuss and you know a confirm a decision that would be my only my major uh, thought about waiting till the end of january okay i don't see a problem with just sticking with the regular plan of the last friday or last where in the hell am i the last monday of <laughs> the month um i don't think we really need to worry about January that we can meet January 29th um, and get an update from what the board chose to do. We have plenty of time. The only thing I see is May 27th is Memorial Day and we should probably not meet that day, maybe the week before, uh, which would be May 20th. May 20th. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good good uh, good one. Okay. But otherwise, I don't see any problems. I just scanned through the calendar this year, and uh, I don't really see any problems after. Other than that, that's the only conflicting thing that I saw. So, so in in regard to meeting in early um, January, so so um, what I wanted to do was was uh, talk to the board. I don't want to jump out too far, but I, but I think I don't think the board nor um, uh, Joanne would be able to do much if they want to go forward with talking with Unilec with the with the with Christmas and New Year's coming up. I think if we met in early January, I don't know how much information we would have to uh, to 
to talk about that point. Why don't we, excuse me, why don't we plan for Jan, um, January 29th, and if need be, if there was something that was um, something that needed to be discussed, we could always do that, um, have a special meeting. Uh, are you okay with that, Gail? Well, my, I, th these are my thoughts about that. Um, I This past year, certainly the board and the GM took the lead with Unilect, but Michael and I have been talking to Unilect uh, really immediately following the 2022 AGM, mostly because of the 77 ballots that were arrived too late. And given how close some of the races were, that was concerning that we didn't have that information. So I'm just wondering, and I would hope that going forward, that um, that NNE, you know, re-inhabits its rightful role or its kind of lead role in a way in terms of arranging the elections. So my thought would be, do we want to look at the calendar for September, remember? So that we ensure that we, if we ask the GM to enter into negotiations or whatever, that we are allowing enough time, as we did this past election, it went well, uh, at least in terms of the early the early dates that we had set. Um, so that that would just be a question, and by waiting until the end of January, the board will have the board is meeting Thursday night, but then they'll have met two more meetings in January. They meet the second. The board's time. also going to meet. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, Gail, but yeah. the board's going to meet on December fourteenth as well. But that's going to be orientation, right? No, the seventh is orientation. The fourteenth is is uh, is business. At the fourteenth oh. meeting is when I would I want to talk with them about um, starting a, a contract earlier than. than well, later. let's play it. Why don't we play it by ear? So that's what, that was going to be my next question. So the seventh is orientation. The fourteenth is a regular meeting. Are they going to meet on the twenty eighth? Are they going to cancel for the rest of the year after the fourteenth? I don't know. I've not heard. Okay. Um, Anything so we're looking that. at the 14th of you bringing up the fact that we're going we would like to get anchored into Unilec this year and then again the next meeting would be the 11th and the 25th and so why don't we kind of play plan on January 29th and if something happens we still have the opportunity to do a special meeting on the 15th or the 22nd and just that's, see what the, the get the temperature of the board. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's I think that's the right the right way to go forward. Well, well, that sounds good. We we certainly have special meetings when we need them. And the other one was that timeline. I mean, I feel that you know we don't want to just hand everything over to to admin to to take care of. I think and then you should have recommendations. I mean, the second issue then would be the Canadian ballots. Uh, that, that kind of got we messed have up. We a this different year. relationship with our board and our uh, uh, role as in and e with the new board. Yeah, I, some of this. Okay, let's let's, let's take the temperature of the board the next couple of weeks. We still have all of December to go through. We can schedule a special meeting in January. So let's just kind of stick with the. Uh, uh, I don't see where we even, after tonight, I don't think we need to meet again until, we don't need to regularly plan to meet again until the 29th. But if the board has a um, messaging to us a little different plan of that, we have the 8th, 15th, and the 22nd to do another special meeting. Okay. Um. And so we would move the May 27th to May 20th. Uh, I think if we just plan for the flat for the last Monday at 630. Um, and I think we uh, last meeting, we said we wanted to meet via Zoom for for a bit until um, at least we get through election seasons. And, and we don't need Gail driving all the way back up here to meet in person. Um, uh, 
up until May. Yeah, so let's let's just uh, let's just go ahead and 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 pencil all of that in at the, for this at this point. We'll see what happens in January. Um, and I know we we still have some uh, things we want to um, talk about and move forward. I, not tonight because it's not on the agenda, but in terms of calendar uh, with uh, the entity manual. So we'll I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. January, we'll talk more about that. Um, new business. Uh, we we did receive, well, is there any other discussion about the calendar? Nothing? I'm fine okay. with it if everybody okay. else is. So uh, let's, let's uh, move to new business. Approving new committee members. I, I see we have Ray Meter here with us. Um, Ray, uh, uh, we accept. Have we looked at um, Karen's application already, or Karen's application? We have. We have not looked at it formally. I, um, she worked with she us did. last year. I don't see anything that's changed there. She's okay. a member so, of standing. Okay. Well, I. I. Make a motion to accept Karen right off so that um, <clears throat> she did I'll a great second. job last year. So I, I would make a motion to accept Karen right off. Okay. Gail, are you? Um, yeah, I, I seconded uh, Michael's motion. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't hear. Um, yeah. Just any, any discussion? I think Michael's had a comment in the, any discussion i i i, I thought uh, things went well last year as with with our committee so yes okay mm -hmm. so we're i think we're approving uh karen via acclamation um ray Meador did send us uh, an application um uh that i did send to you guys mm -hmm. um uh ray's with us um uh, ray can are you a, a panelist with us now or can we bring him forward morgan has left it looks like for the time being yeah, sure. yeah. Like i read ray's i read ray's application and i'm fine with it myself if, if he'd like to add anything comment wise to that and if Morgan can come in and uh, he's unmuted now, Ray, would you like to speak? He's unmuted, but maybe he can't hear us. Yeah, I don't know. Now he's muted. No, I was now he's hoping muted. he would just say a little bit about, you know, his his time in the valley, what you know, his his interest and so forth. Oh, he's got his hand raising raised. his hand. Can you do something, Rob? I can't. <laughs> I can't okay. hear him, but he's trying to. Gosh, we need more. I wish. I. I, I think what I'd like to do in the future is have Morgan. Uh, Stay with us. Give. Give. Give me uh, uh, the uh, facilitator role so I can pull. Well, there's there's times where I'm, there could be there could be information I just like to share with you. As, you know, just share on the screen and whatnot. So. Uh, um, I had a. So I had a really, I, I had a, I, thing anyway. Uh, what's that? I said, since Morgan listens in and shares everything anyway, she should give you the ability to uh, talk to the other people in the room. Let me try something here. I can, I'm going to send her a quick chat message. Suppose I shouldn't say that. Ray, Ray, say. thank you, Ray, thank you for your patience as we try to bring you in. You know, maybe what I could do too is uh, see on his application whether uh, there's a phone number. Maybe I could call him and he, we could hear. Now his hand is up again, or was for a minute. Yeah, bear with me just a second, guys. 
Well, in short of anything else, I, I think the bylaws say if Ray is um, current on his dues and member in good standing and he has applied that we are supposed to accept him. And so I would make a motion to accept Ray as our, our fifth member and uh, go from there. I'll second that. Um, and I, I, I think he'd be a wonderful addition to our, um, our committee. Uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's, he's served on boards. Um, he's, uh, he's, 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 uh, I think he's interested in, in learning and working with us. Uh, and I think it's, it, it's, it would be great to have him as an addition I'm all for it because I'm going to let you guys know right now, this is my last year on n and &E. I'm going to stick out this year and then I'm going to step off. So after four years, I've had, I've had all the fun one person could have. So I'm going to stick with you this year. I'm contemplating running for the board next year. So I may drop off just before the election, but I'm going to give you everything I got for the year. Well, thank you. And we really appreciate everything you've done to help us along the way with, you know, learning about how this, how the process should flow. And, and yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so this Ray, if you can hear us. This is an important part of the process. That's why I have stayed so long and, um, and all it's in a, unappreciated role but nonetheless um it needs to be done and i think you guys are great at it Thank and you. uh as people come in i think we can rotate in and out and hopefully this thing will stay the way it is so um, uh, i think it will yeah. and i think we're all dedicated to wanting to have um impartial fair professional elections so yeah um so Ray, if you can hear us, uh, we um, we love that you want to join our committee and welcome, and uh, we hope to see you face to face soon. Um, that, please just please note that there will be a um, a meeting at six thirty on Monday, January 29th, and we will include you in the. Um, uh, any communications that we have via email between now and then. Uh, so the last item under new business it w is um, is Unilect contract. So what I want to do is on December fourteenth, I'm I'm going to ask Keith McLean if he could uh, put a line uh, item in the agenda so that we can um, talk about engaging in a contract with Unilect um, and the reason being is that it uh, with their calendar coming up uh, it's getting pretty full then at this point they know our process um, I think in order to do the due diligence to ins ensure to the community that we are uh, wanting to make sure that we're not overpaying is that we could enter into a, a contract with Unilect at the same time, perhaps uh, Joanne and staff could um, put it out and ask uh, other other election companies to um, bid, you know, so we can kind of see like, what's the, how is the pricing? Uh, my, what I was told, uh, I, I had a conversation with Linda Bradley and she said, when they initially, yeah, I see you, Gail. But when they when they initially um, um, uh, put it out for bids and Unilect came in, there really wasn't that many many companies to choose from, too. Yeah. So uh, with that, I would, I'm thinking if we could engage, start a contract with them so that we make sure we have somebody lined up for for November. Make sure with that due diligence is done so. The uh, the association members are, are assured that we are 
trying to spend money wisely. And then the last piece is I would like for us to use the con. I'm going to suggest with your, you guys concurring, that we use the contract going back two years ago to where the 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 point of contact after the contract is signed is the NE chair. And of course, the the uh, general manager is the only one who can sign checks, who can who can issue payment, who can sign contracts. But I think it was confusing to Unilect that they didn't know whether they they could talk to Gail uh, or where they had to talk to Joanne first. So I think we need to kind of kind of go back to how things were done a couple of years ago. So I've so, talked a lot. Go ahead, you guys. It was my understanding that we were going to go to the board and say we want to schedule you uh, and book Unilect for the election AGM in 2024. That's right. And at the same time, we would like to open uh, bids for 2025. That's right. Okay. And we would like to go back to removing the wording that was slipped in on the sly of removing any from having any control over anything at all and putting it back into its rightful position of working with the outside vendor. Unilect would get the contract bid signed by the GM and after that, the GM is out of the picture and Unilect handles the thing after that. I have a Michael. I have a copy of the 2021 contract okay, with you know, good. That's the one that I'm looking at myself. So and that's what I'm talking about. And right, and that's, that's the it. one that I'm going to ask the board to use. That's the one I'm going to ask the board to request that Joanne enter into with Unilect yeah. with that same language. I have been on Inony for four years, if I may, my brain's working properly, and I have never seen the general manager involved in any process of the election until this year. And um, it went well, it went smooth, but nonetheless, there was a lot of uh, who do I talk to, how do I get an answer, and and all that in our in an manual and our bylaws state that the chair of in an e is the one that handles the communication with the outside vendor after contract negotiations are done and so this was all kind of slipped in on the sly there so it'd be nice if we can get it back to where it was to keep the process separate and it's not I, it's not that I don't trust the board. It's not that I don't trust the GM. They're all, so far, everything I've seen has been great. It just, it's supposed to be separate. Yep. Yeah, what I could clarify from my point of view is, <clears throat> I, I think in the past, NNE took the lead. In the re revision of this past year, the GM or the admin or the board or the executive team, depending on how you want to define those, took the lead. And I remember being rebuked very sharply for having picked up the phone and called Unilect. Um, although when I reread the existing contract, there was nothing in that contract, even though it had been amended, that precluded my doing that. So there was, there was I agree that the role of NNE had have been limited in a way that had not been before. And it was confusing to say the least. I don't think anyone wants to step on toes or create uh, confusing chains of command, and, but it will be helpful, I think, especially because historically NNE has operated, you know, uh, somewhat independently of the board. And that would just, because the board is electing its own composition. You know, they would not want to be too involved in the nuts and bolts of an election without running the risk of, of lack of, of a conflict there. The other thing though I also want to add is Joanne was very helpful as well. I mean, she very, did a lot of work. That, yep. 
that was very helpful, especially to me being new at the whole role. Um, it was it was great, and so it, often it worked very well. There were just a few times when, you know, wires got crossed and and heads were butted, so to speak. Yeah. Morgan, thanks for coming back. Could could we bring? We've approved Ray as as a, a member of our committee. Could we bring him over? I think he's got his hand up. He was hoping to say a few words. Yeah, I would like that. Thank you, Morgan. We can't. Okay. Hey, Ray, can you can you talk, Ray? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Hi, Ray. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I just accepted the panelist. Uh, okay. Okay. So that made it work. Okay. Can we see him? But so far, uh, hey, thank you for putting me on with not me being able to say anything to <laughs> give you Sorry. any history of who I am. But I'm a resident of Sudden Valley five years. Uh, previously lived in Seattle for the earlier early of my life and had a career for 35 years as a, a marine salesperson for Sherwin Williams Paint Company my entire career and mm -hmm. sold the uh, paint to uh, large ships like the Navy and Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. wow. but, uh, I'm at the retirement uh, here up in Sudden Valley. This is my last stop. <laughs> been here for five years. Uh, love it. Love a lot about everything. I mean, it's just a beautiful place to live. Met some great, fantastic people. And uh, I figure it's time for me to do my part uh, on the volunteer side to make this a better place for long term and uh, appreciate you folks have put time in already before I got here um, I plan to learn from you um, teach me if I do something wrong I I just want to make it better and improve the communications between these committees and uh and the residents, because it's, it, it's kind of waffled right now, but I think we're, I think it's going to get better. So Gosh, Rick, can you turn brilliant. on your video? What I need to turn on? Jen. Your video, uh, does it say? Video, oh. It's on the left, down the left. Okay, side. there you go. Hey. Yes, that come on? Hey, I can see oh, all you. Hello. That's amazing. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, welcome. I'm a yeah. Marine mechanic diesel mechanic i work for tri-county diesel marine oh yeah excellent five i'm more of an interlux paint guy sorry <laughs> but right. um no at any rate um rob orientation you said was on january 7th no orientation is is this week on december 7th and that would mean that N and E needed to be there to get their binders, or what? Uh, it would mean that uh, anyone is welcome to come take part. Uh, I don't know. I I I'll, I'm going to see about getting uh, Ray's binder put together. Hopefully, we could do that on, um, by by Thursday. It's a, it, the binder would have the our. So we were, um, our governing documents are, of course, the bylaws that provide for, um, oh, I see we got a, thank you, Morgan. She's, Morgan saying, I think you can expect binders next week, okay? But still there would be, uh, it would be very beneficial to come to orientation. You get a, a chance to listen to uh, Sudden Valley's attorney talk about the um the roles of the of the board of directors um henceforth our elected committees um state i'm sure i'll probably talk a little bit about state law um our bylaws and then um the administration's role uh there'll be a parliamentarian to talk about robert's rules of order we're a small committee so we don't um, necessarily follow every, we follow Robert's rules but because we're a small committee um, most of our decisions are by acclamation um, uh, in the past there was someone there talking a little bit about insurance and insurance coverages as 
being that we um, are uh, acting on behalf of the membership, I believe a, a, a lot of what we do were held um, under the insurance, but don't hold me to that. I'm not the attorney. So, so there is good information. That would be on seven o'clock on Thursday in the dance bar and everybody's invited to come. I think ACC has been, is inviting. They're being invited to come by the ACC chair. Okay. Uh, Will uh, that be uh, quote unquote televised? I mean, will I, I, mean, I, I think, I think it will be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can at least watch. I yeah, I think it would be on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah. Yes, we can watch live. I'll uh, plan to attend that. Then that's December. That's next week. This week. That's this. This week. The day after tomorrow. Yep. That's this yeah. week. Okay. Yeah. Seven o'clock in the barn. Seven o'clock in the barn. Yep. Okay. And um, I think it'd be good. Uh, for those that can't attend and for those that are may, are in Seattle or somewhere else who you can watch and and get the you still hear the information you just yeah. wouldn't be able to ask any questions um so uh what we were kind of talking about there Ray a little bit was um we we are under the understanding that the that Unilect who is our, the vendor who does the election for us the yeah. Send out the ballots and calculate them and everything. Yeah, I was I was able to hear everything. I just couldn't uh, talk or add or anything, but I did hear everything, Rob. Appreciate that. Good. Appreciate Good. the vote Good. of confidence there, also, folks. I appreciate that. Oh uh, well, looking at your application, you've been on a lot. You've been a member of a lot of boards, and it is yeah. it's clear to me that you you've been a great team member and um, mm -hmm. on other teams, and I think you'd be great on, with our team. Oh. Uh, it's close to home. I live here, so it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. I get just one question. How many gallons of paint does it take to paint the Polar Star? Polar Star is a small vessel, but that one's only about uh, pretty close to – for doing the underwater haul five times, it's about 3,000 gallons. Wow. But uh, – been doing aircraft carriers quite you know a oh. lot and that's, uh, that's oh. 20, 24 truckloads at 2,000 gallons a piece wow that's wow that's a lot of paint that's a lot of bottom paint a lot of bottom paint yeah well I've I've been a boater all my life and I I tell you I've crawled under a lot of halls sanding and painting and my oh yeah one of my best memories, my father used to take me out of school in the spring on a Friday, go down and bottom paint our boat when I was a little kid. And, and sure, that's a good memory. With my dad. <laughs> that's a lot of work. Yeah, it was. That was when you didn't really worry too much about copper paint landing on you. you I didn't, we didn't know any better, you know? So yeah. uh, anyway, um, but that is really all that we have, you guys. Um, is there anything for the good of the order? I have dinner in the oven. Well, then let's... Uh, anybody want to move to adjourn? I'll move I'll to adjourn. It. All right. Let's adjourn. Welcome, Ray. And, right. Thank um, you. Uh, Look forward to seeing some of you on 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 Thursday. Otherwise, uh, I'll be there. We'll we'll see you guys soon. Take good care. And more okay, planning so on much. the 29th, other than next Thursday, the seventh at the board meeting. That's correct. Okay, sounds good. Nice bye to meet guys. you. Thank awesome. you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. All right. Bye. So, Michael, are you on a boat? Am or I on a boat? Well, you had a fish in your hand be earlier. No, I had my guitar in my hand earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was really confused. It's a great background. I thought somehow you had set this up and you're out on uh, Bellingham Bay. But... No, that's a background picture of Bellingham Bay. But no, oh. just uh, I'm at home. I'm going to eat dinner. And uh, how would your salmon turn out the other night? Oh, it was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you didn't get back to me in time, so I just turned the oven, I think, to 425. I awesome. just cooked it really hot, which, yep. you know, 
real hot, better. real fast. It was much better. And yeah. I really followed. I had sliced. I had sliced uh, lemon. And um, what else did you put in yours? I just remember everything you did. You know, onion. Uh, it was great. It was good. Wait. But not All as right. good as yours. <laughs> You've been through the Michael School of Salmon Cooking. <laughs> yeah, well, and you don't know Ann Moss necessarily. Maybe you do. But at any rate, I used to get salmon from Ann. You know, she's left the valley. Um, but she still sometimes sells salmon. She has some kind of arrangement. And I remembered that she had said, yeah, she cooks it at a really high temperature. But 25 yeah. is perfect for us cooking hot and fast. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Michael. Good to see you with that amazing yeah. background. Looks great. You should yeah. have your picture taken. Maybe I'll take a picture of you quickly <laughs> if I can. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. Well, I will talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye, -bye. Are we done? I think so. I'm trying to leave. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.